Americans call on Trump to restart critical NTP health research halted by Biden and update FCC safety guidelines. A call to action for President Trump, we need two campaign promises. Fix Biden's NTP funding error and update FCC guidelines. The potential risks associated with electromagnetic radiation, entropic waste, must be thoroughly investigated. Moreover, the advancements in bioelectric medicine from understanding these risks will lead to groundbreaking treatments and a new era in healthcare by embracing the importance of bioelectricity in human health. Update FCC guidelines. In a landmark case, the Federal Communications Commission faced a lawsuit filed by Robert F. Kennedy Jr. and the Environmental Health Trust challenging the FCC's outdated safety guidelines on cell phone radiation. Here are the key facts. Lawsuit filed. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. and the Environmental Health Trust sued the FCC in 2020, claiming that the Commission's guidelines for exposure to cell phone radiation, established in 1996, were outdated and failed to reflect current scientific understanding and research on the health effects of radio frequency radiation. Court ruling. In August 2021, the U.S. Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit ruled in favor of the plaintiffs. The court found that the FCC had not adequately explained why its 1996 guidelines were sufficient to protect against the harmful effects of exposure to RF radiation, especially considering the more recent studies and scientific evidence presented by the plaintiffs. Failure to address non-cancer risks. The court specifically criticized the FCC for failing to address the non-cancer health effects of RF radiation, including evidence related to reproductive health, neurological impacts, and effects on children. Directive to reevaluate guidelines. The court ordered the FCC to provide a reasoned explanation for its determination that the 1996 guidelines adequately protect against the adverse health effects of RF radiation unrelated to cancer, or to reevaluate its guidelines in light of the current scientific evidence. Significance. This ruling was significant as it acknowledged the potential inadequacy of existing RF radiation exposure limits and underscored the need for regulatory agencies to stay current with scientific research. It marked a victory for advocates of stricter safety standards and highlighted the ongoing debate about the health effects of modern wireless technology. Fix Biden's NTP blunder. NTP study findings. The National Toxicology Program, part of the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, conducted a comprehensive study on the health effects of radio frequency radiation from cell phones. Released in 2018, the NTP study found clear evidence that high levels of RF radiation could cause cancer in rats. Specifically, male rats exposed to RF radiation developed malignant schwannomas, a type of nerve tumor, in the heart and brain gliomas, a type of brain tumor. The study was one of the largest and most expensive animal studies on RF radiation involving over 3,000 rodents and costing approximately $30 million. Halting further studies. Despite these significant findings, the NTP decided to halt further studies on RF radiation. The decision, disclosed quietly, was attributed to the high costs and technical challenges of continuing the research. This move has sparked significant debate among scientists and health advocates who argue that more research is necessary to fully understand the long-term health effects of RF radiation on humans. The cessation of NTP research was met with shock and disappointment from various quarters, including scientists, health advocates, and concerned citizens, who argue that this move undermines public health by reducing the scientific understanding of RF radiation's effects at a time when such knowledge is most needed. A Ramazzini Institute, or RI, confirmation. The Ramazzini Institute in Italy conducted a separate large-scale animal study to investigate the effects of RF radiation. Their research focused on lower levels of exposure, comparable to what humans might experience from cell towers. Published in 2018, the RI study found that male rats exposed to RF radiation also developed malignant schwannomas of the heart, consistent with the NTP study findings. Additionally, the RI study observed increased incidences of brain and adrenal gland tumors in the exposed rats. The RI study corroborated the NTP's findings, providing further evidence that RF radiation could be carcinogenic. 
the parallel results from two independent studies strengthened the argument for reevaluating current safety guidelines for RF radiation exposure. Implications. These findings have prompted calls for updated safety standards and guidelines for RF radiation exposure, given that current guidelines are based on outdated assumptions and may not adequately protect public health. The studies highlight the potential risks associated with long-term exposure to RF radiation from cell phones and other wireless devices, emphasizing the need for more research and precautionary measures to mitigate these risks. Advocacy for Continued Research Environmental Health Trust. Scientists and international experts sent a letter to President Biden on April 21, 2021, urging immediate action to reduce and restrict the rapid increase of harmful wireless microwave radio frequency radiation, or RFR. The letter emphasized the biological and ecological impacts of wireless radiation and called for wired infrastructure for broadband. We don't think a wired world is possible at scale anymore, so we support the use of light, as explained in U.S. Patent U.S. 11,700,058 B2 by inventor John Coates, founder of RF Safe. The letter included several policy recommendations, such as focusing on wired infrastructure for broadband, halting the 5G rollout until environmental and health impacts are assessed, and developing science-based safety limits for human and wildlife exposure to RFR. Supporting Studies and Resources Interphone Study, a multinational study coordinated by the International Agency for Research on Cancer, examining the potential link between cell phone use and brain tumors. Hardell Group Studies, research led by Dr. Leonard Hardell, indicating increased risk of brain tumors associated with long-term cell phone use. Serenat Study, a French study showing a significant increase in brain tumor risk with prolonged cell phone use. U.S. National Toxicology Program Comprehensive Research Indicating Clear Evidence of Cancer Risk from Cell Phone Radiation Ramazzini Institute Study An independent Italian study corroborating the findings of the NTP Reflex Project A European Union-funded research project demonstrating genetic damage from low-level electromagnetic fields Bioinitiative Report An extensive review of over 2,000 studies indicating various health risks from electromagnetic fields Beyond thermal effects, the promise of bioelectric medicine. Advancements in RF radiation research show biological interactions beyond thermal effects. The FDA-approved therabionic treatment is a prime example. This treatment employs RF radiation at power levels up to 1,000 times lower than those emitted by cell phones to effectively treat inoperable liver cancer through non-thermal interactions at the cellular or molecular level. These interactions include resonance effects, disruption of cellular signaling, and potential modulation of the immune system. This challenges the traditional view that non-ionizing cell phone radiation is biologically inert, except for its heating properties. The potential of bioelectric medicine to revolutionize healthcare is enormous, offering new avenues for treating various diseases by understanding and leveraging the complexities of bioelectricity and its role in governing biological processes. Children are at greater risk. The physiological and developmental characteristics of children make them particularly vulnerable to the effects of RF radiation. Their thinner skulls and higher tissue conductivity allow for greater absorption of RF energy into their developing brains. Additionally, since their bodies are still developing, they are at a higher risk of DNA damage from oxidative stress caused by RF radiation. Growing doubts among the public. The crux of the public's concern lies in the continuous influx of scientific studies suggesting potential health risks associated with RF radiation, ranging from carcinogenic effects to neurological disruptions. Yet, there remains a significant gap between these scientific findings and the existing regulatory standards, which primarily consider thermal effects and disregard non-thermal interactions. This discrepancy fosters distrust and anxiety as consumers are left to wonder about the long-term impacts of their everyday technology use. The halting of NTP studies, a setback for public health. In 2024, the NTP discontinued its research into the biological and environmental impacts of cell phone radiation, citing funding constraints and technological challenges. 
This decision came shortly after their studies indicated clear evidence of cancer in rats exposed to RF radiation levels similar to those emitted by cell phones. The halting of such pivotal research not only stalls further understanding of RF radiation effects, but also leaves the public without the reassurance of ongoing rigorous assessment of potential risks. The FCC's outdated guidelines. Simultaneously, the Federal Communications Commission, or FCC, has been criticized for its outdated RF exposure guidelines, which have not been significantly updated in over two decades. A recent court ruling highlighted the agency's failure to consider newer scientific evidence, calling its adherence to old standards arbitrary and capricious. This stagnation in regulatory updates fails to protect public health and may potentially hinder technological and industrial innovation by maintaining inadequate safety standards. The urgent need for action. The solution to the growing public concern and scientific debate is not to cease research but to embrace it fully. Ending government-funded studies on RF radiation impacts prematurely is a disservice not only to public health but also to industries that could benefit from clear, updated regulations. By understanding the full scope of RF radiation effects, industries could innovate more effectively and safely, ensuring consumer trust and compliance with health standards. Reinstating research and updating regulations. It is imperative that entities like the NTP receive the support and funding needed to continue their research. Furthermore, regulatory bodies such as the FCC must be urged to update their guidelines in line with the latest scientific findings. This dual approach will ensure that public health is protected, consumer confidence is restored, and industries are provided with a clear framework within which to innovate. As we navigate an increasingly wireless world, the stakes are too high to ignore the potential risks associated with RF radiation. Reinstating halted government-funded research and updating outdated regulatory guidelines are crucial steps towards safeguarding public health and fostering a culture of trust and safety in technology use. It's time for policymakers, industry leaders, and the scientific community to unite in addressing these urgent concerns and ensure a safer future for all. By addressing these issues head-on, we can ensure a healthier and safer future for all Americans. President Trump, the time to act is now. Show the RFK junior supporters that you are willing to fight for them too. The American people's health is paramount, and this issue transcends political boundaries. It's time to unite and prioritize the well-being of our citizens.